Hello, everyone. Uh, I have a very young, talented, um, famous, I would say, uh, person with me today, and his name is Elijah. Hi, Elijah. How are you? Hi, Hannah. I'm doing great. Nice to see you again. Thank you for coming. Mm -hmm, for sure. Um, I just wanted to let you know, you will be surprised to know Elijah's talent, skills, ability, and God gifts, which he's been uh, using from very early age. Instead of I talk, I let him talk so he can tell you what he has been doing and want to share with all of you. All right, Elijah, go ahead, please. Cool. Thank you so much for having me on. So uh, my name's Elijah, and I've been writing since I was six years old, so I'm a writer at heart. And um, so my goal is to help other writers. So I read this stat um, a while ago that 81% of people want to write a book, but only about 5% actually do. Um, so my goal is to help people write their books because I think everybody has a story or something that to, to share that other people would benefit from hearing. Um, so my goal is to help writers write their books. And so I'm actually starting an app that will be launching next month um, and there's a bunch of features in this app that I think will really help writers, um, you know, get started or at whatever part they are, if, even if they're in the middle to actually finish their book. Um, so what I've been doing, there's a bunch of features I think will help them. But what I've been doing, I've been interviewing a ton of authors and screenwriters um, on very specific subjects in the writing process. Um, so that if you if you're writing and you have any problems, you can go onto the app and type whatever problem that is that you're dealing with. And a bunch of videos will pop up on that specific subject to help you out write your book. And there's some other features as well, like you can you can actually post your stories in the app um, to get reviews and critique um, from other writers like yourself. And um, one thing that I've noticed is that, um, like for me personally as a writer, I um, sometimes like I don't really want to like hear what's wrong about my story or what I need to fix. Sometimes I just want like encouragement. Um, so all the reviews on each story that you post. Um, will be divided into praise and critique. So then you could, um, if you're feeling like you need some encouragement, you can click on praise. Or if you feel like, you you know, you want to make, you want to find what would make your story the best, then you can click on critique. And there's other story, there's other features as well. Um, but those are the main features that will make this um, really cool to help you um, write your projects. Wonderful. I'm, I'm very impressed uh, what you are doing, you know, with nowadays with teenagers, very few I've seen they are passionate and they're having focus direction and they're working in very uh, specific area. And of course, everyone has talents. As you said, everyone has story, everyone has gifts. Uh, it is very important that we use our childhood, our youth, our teen, preteen, because if you have worked now very hard, you will success in your life and you will not find difficulty when you are like, like you're 40, 50, 60, 80 years old because you have done very early. So I always encourage even my daughter, every child do something which you can leave legacy for somebody. So maybe my legacy is for my child or my other generation. Maybe your legacy will be your children and other People. So it's very, very impressive what you're doing. Thank you so much for doing that. Mm -hmm. Tell us about how we met and what do you think about Hannah's dream? Um, so I actually, I interviewed you. Um, you were one of the authors that I interviewed for, for my, um, for the app, Writer's Talk. And um, so you shared a bunch of really good information that that will be on the app um, for people to watch. Um, so that was really cool. I think you reached out to me on Facebook, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, so that was cool. Um, so uh, what I like about Hannah's Dream is that it covers uh, the very important topic of persecution, which I think is so important for for people to talk about and um, for there to just be awareness about that. Because sometimes I think we get so comfortable um, in where we are that we mm -hmm. kind of forget about like where other Christians are and how they're being affected by like persecution. And who knows, like maybe that will come to us one day. So yeah. I think it's a very important topic that this Hannah's dream is covering. 
Yeah, it is. And you know what? Um, Matthew 24 is very close to my heart. It's very specifically says a list of things in the beginning. And if you read a little bit down uh, on 24th and 25th verse, it says, I was hungry. I was thirsty. I was naked. I was in the jail and you did not feed me, give me clothes and you did not visit me. And then in the end, it says that when you come to and when you are in front of my father, I will deny you because you denied me. So when I was reading that verse and I said, oh, my Lord, no, don't deny me when I'm there. <laughs> Tell me what I have to do now. You know, I can do now, not later. So we need to do now. So we are not ashamed and we are not embarrassed. And as a human, also, we need to help other humans. And if you see somebody's getting hurt. Uh, being persecuted, being um, uh, hate speech, discrimination, women are uh, persecuted for their whatever surroundings, women, young uh, women, we have to stand, we have to contribute some things from our own comfort zone. So yes, it is very important, we need to do that. So what do you want to say in the end to the audience? Um, uh, one thing that I would say to encourage you is, um, to write your book or write write whatever you think you need to write and stop pushing it off. And one of the major things that um, an excuse that people say is that they don't have enough time. And that is true. But if you make the, you can make the time for whatever is important to you. I actually just interviewed a, a surgeon who has this crazy schedule and he hardly has any free time. And he's written tons of books. Um, and that, that just encouraged me. And I think that should encourage anybody watching this as well, that that you have no excuses. You need to write your story because somebody out there needs it and you have the power to help somebody. That's right. That's wonderful. That's amazing way to bring the stories out. Um, yes, writing needs time. Like when we wrote Hannah's Dream, uh, it took us six months back and forth communication because first, it was my first time when we I was writing and I'm not expert in writing. I can um, do a little bit general, like basic English, but Shelly had uh, learned and she has training, education and experience. So she knew how to put that story into the script format. So yes, it may take you to some connections. It may have to, uh, maybe you just type it out in word uh, format, or maybe you just do it with your handwriting, something you can do it, and then pray about it. When you pray about it, God will bring you the right time, right people, right channels. And that's how your writing will go either as a script or either as a book or somewhere. I don't know how God is going to use your story. So yes, we need to write as much as we can. And now this is the good time to write because faith is um, media is growing and they really need good stories. So if we have true stories, that's best. If we don't, then keep writing. Thank you so much for your time, Elijah. God bless you for doing whatever you're doing. It's amazing. I'm impressed. And I will definitely encourage that you continue doing and do not stop doing what you're doing. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Hannah. Bye. Bye.